Bella Kule here. Today I'm going to be doing my NFL playoff predictions, even though they'll all probably suck. So first, I have the Houston Texans versus the Buffalo Bills. So now this game is a bit more tough because you see the Houston Texans are more of an offensive team and the Bills are more of a defensive team. Both finish 10 and 6. Houston have home advantage. But here's the thing, Texans do this every year. And at the start of the season, they're mediocre. In the middle of the season, they look like a contender. And at the end, they fall apart. And you have so many questions, and you don't know what to think about this Houston Texans team. Where the Bills really are never there. The last time they were there, they suffered like a small defeat. So this is what I see. Bills defense will end up stopping the Texans offense quite a bit. But the Bills offense won't lead them far. But I'm gonna say it leads them far enough. For the first round win, 17 for the Buffalo Bills and the 14 for the Houston Texans. So next you have the Tennessee Titans and the New England Patriots. None of this game is pretty straightforward. New England might be looking bad at the end of the season. That's what they win. They always put together a team in the season. New England will win the game. I'm going to make it 24 for the New England Patriots to 10 for the Tennessee Titans. Now on to the NFC. First round, Saints, Minnesota. Now, also, I did not think Minnesota should be made to the playoffs. I thought the Rams looked way better to end that um, season. So I don't really think the... Uh, Minnesota Vikings should have made the playoffs. And on the other hand, I thought that the Saints deserved the bye way more than the Green Bay Packers. In terms of skill, I think the New Orleans Saints deserved it way more than they did. And for that, I don't think this will be a close matchup. Despite the fact that Minnesota usually does do very well against New Orleans, I'm going to pick New Orleans 27 to 14 on the Minnesota Vikings. I know I think the skill is so much higher than that gap, but I don't think New Orleans is gonna try to waste out all their energy because they know they're gonna have a tough game ahead of them playing the Green Bay Packers if they win that game. So it wouldn't be, you know, very simple. Next up, we have the one that most people are debating and changing who's gonna win. It's Seahawks and Eagles, and I don't see this as a close game at all. Uh, Eagles should not have really made the playoffs. They're nine and seven, which is as good as other teams' conference. I do think the Eagles are better than the Tennessee Titans, but that means nothing. Eagles might have home advantage on Seattle, and Seattle might have been playing bad at the left end of the season. But let's remind you that Seattle has been looking like a Super Bowl contender for the start. And middle of the season, sure, at the end, they looked mediocre, but they still did have a divisional, they had two divisional, all of their losses were divisional, actually, now that I think about it, they lost to the Rams, Cards, and Niners. Cards, that was kind of unacceptable, but the Cards are still like a 6-10 and 10 football team. They lost to the Rams, who were 9-7 and 7 with a winning record, and Rams were just like playing shit just so they could beat Seattle, because that's they, all they wanted. And they lost to the Niners, who are the number one seed in the whole NFC, and they could have been the number one team in the league if Robbie Gold could hit field goals. As you know, I'm a Niners fan, but, like, it's just the fact that Eagles don't have much talent, and they have so many damn injuries going into these playoffs. And I'd say they would have lost to Seattle anyway. So I'm going to go another 20s game. I've, I've had a lot of scores in the 20s. 27 to 10 for the Seattle Seahawks. And they will move on. This means that in the second round in the AFC, this will put New England and Kansas City and Baltimore and Bills. Let's start off with... Baltimore Ravens versus Buffalo Bills. We saw this matchup very close. Bills could not convert a fourth down. 
and goal, which they did at twice to lose to the Bills and the Ravens, which so they're not very good on fourth and goal. Now, here's what I think. Bills have the best defense in that conference at the moment. And the Ravens have the best offense in that conference at the moment. Not all around, but Lamar Jackson is the best player in the league this year, by a mile. Kansas City probably do have the best all around, but I'm just going to say Ravens are definitely one of those best offenses. Ravens also have a good defense. But the Bills' offense is pretty shabby. Like, not very, um, like, out of this world. Like, if it weren't for their defense, they probably would have finished 8-8. Eight eight. But their defense made it so they should have finished, like, 11-5. and five. That's what I see in that team. Their offense, maybe the 12-4. and four, But their offense makes it so they lose games. Their offense doesn't score when they need to. It's all on the line, and their offense can't do it. And that's why they lost two of their games. And I would include the Jets, too, for the Bills' offense not scoring. But the Bills rested most of their players for the playoffs because they knew that they wouldn't give them any better of a seeded thing because they knew New England won the division because you can't take over New England. So it didn't really mean anything. So they had to go. And just lose to the Jets. Because they didn't start any players only for the first quarter. So, the Bills' defense, I think, will be able to handle Baltimore's offense a little. And this will make this more of a high, a low-scoring game, I mean. But the Bills' offense won't be able to do it. I'm going to say 17-14 to the Baltimore Ravens. But, I would not be depressed if I was a Bills fan. You have so much potential, and in years, you could actually win the Super Bowl in the next 10 years. So, you just need, I think Josh Allen is actually a pretty good quarterback. You just need a wide receiver or running back that could take your offense places. Now, Pats, Kansas City. We saw this last year, and that was a game that looked like Kansas City should have won, but they didn't. Now, my thoughts, Pats are not as good this year, but they are a whole different team in the playoffs. But Kansas City has been looking so much more hot, and with Kansas City beating New England in the season and Kansas City now having home field, I'm going to have to pick Kansas City over New England for those facts. And this is what I think. New England's defense and does not match Kansas City's offense. And the same goes for Kansas City defense not matching the New England offense. But the New England offense has not been looking as good as of late. So that's why I'm t- doing this prediction. Now, Packers-New Orleans. This could be the best second-round game out of all of these four. Packers do have some holes. They might be 13-3 and three and have home. But I could see holes in this Packers team. Now, Packers, Aaron Rodgers has been playing amazing. They look amazing. Their wide receivers are great. Defense is the best it's been in years. But New Orleans offense is too good. And that is why I'm going to pick New Orleans 24 to Green Bay 14. I do think, though, Green Bay will make it a tight game and take out a lot of energy from New Orleans, which will make New Orleans struggle a bit more in the third round. Now on to the Niners and the Seahawks, this divisional game. This will be the third time in the year they will verse. My predictions, I know I'm a Niners fan, it makes me biased, but 13-3, and three, the Niners at home, George Kittle's playing on top of his head, they just beat Seattle to end the season, but it was a very tight game. Now, Seattle will be more tired as they played in the first round, Philly, and as we said, it could be a close game. Now, Niners have to go, uh, I mean, Seattle have to go 
away again into Niners. They are really want this. Where Seattle have been in the playoffs consistently, and they know they're going to keep making the playoffs. Where the Niners might not. They just have to go for it this year. I'm going to pick the Niners and another nail-biter. This will come down to the last play. I'm going to say 24 for the Niners and 22 for Seattle. Seattle will not be able to drive down. Leads to the third round in the AFC. Baltimore Ravens, Kansas City Chiefs. Now we do know Kansas City play very well against Baltimore. We saw it this season. Kansas City blew out Baltimore in terms of what the game looked like, despite the final score didn't look like it. That, but that was when Baltimore were 2-1. and one. Now, Baltimore are 14-2. and two. They are looking so hot, and Baltimore at home. And I think Kansas City do have a tougher game in the second round, so they'll lose a bit more energy. Now, these might be the one and two seeds, and Baltimore might have a lot of trouble against Kansas City. And this will be more of an offensive game, as these two teams are the best offenses in the conference. But Baltimore has a defense, and Kansas City doesn't really have a defense. And that's what I think puts the aside the Kansas City Chiefs and a 24-21 nail-biter for the Baltimore Ravens. And on to the Super Bowl, Baltimore goes in Miami. Now New Orleans and the Niners. We saw this game, which was also a nail-biter. 48-46 for the San Francisco 49ers with George Kittle's last-second play with a 50-yard play through and like 20 yards through a face mask, which got a 15-yard penalty, and the Niners ended up uh, getting a field goal, which they could have gotten a touchdown if they went for it, but I'm happy we didn't because we won the game. And what I think is the Niners will be able to pull it off again. Not as high scoring, nowhere near. I think this will actually be a low-scoring game. I'm going to go 14-10 for the 49ers because I just think that both of their defenses are going to show up this time and not the offenses. I think the defenses are going to learn a lot and the offenses are going to go back to what happened last time because they both did so well. They're like, oh, our offense or defense didn't do well. So they're going to get the good things out of their defense, but their offense isn't going to do much in that game. But I think the Niners hold the 14-10 grudge over the New Orleans Saints because it is in San Francisco, which leads Baltimore Ravens and the Niners in the Super Bowl. So, who do I have winning? You look at the Baltimore Ravens as a very offensive team, and the Niners a very offensive and defensive team. But Lamar Jackson is the best player in the NFL right now. And this makes it a really close game. Neither team has home advantage because it is in Miami for the Super Bowl. Now, who wins? As a Niners fan, it makes me heartbreaking to say that the Baltimore Ravens will pull out a 17-14 win over the San Francisco 49ers. And I've been a Niners fan for years. And I'm praying the Niners win. But the ambition in the Super Bowl, it's just... I don't think the Niners will be able to do it, but I do think, again, I'm very biased towards the Niners. The Niners will win the Super Bowl next year. At least I'm hoping. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching LL Kool-Aid today. Subscribe, like, put turn notifications on, and follow fizz.gg on Instagram. And DM me if you want to join the clan. Peace.